Blood Curse, Season 1, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Double Identity. Another episode I love. Spoilers for these first seven episodes. Let's get right in. Right, and, and yeah, this was another episode that gave us a little bit more information on what's going on. So, yeah, much appreciated. And, yeah, they're... they're genuinely getting to the point where all will be revealed and there will be a, a wrap-up. Now, yeah, we again see some stuff from 1998 and, yeah, you know, it's pretty much literally a, a witch hunt. You know, they suspected him because he meditated, so they think he's doing black magic. And this is sadly the sort of thing that has happened throughout history if someone performs spirituality in a way that others are not comfortable with that lies somewhat outside the norm so, yeah they might be suspected of being dangerous to the others and will be killed in an act of perceived self-defense <clears throat> and back in the present you know, Harun is sharing the the money that he got, you know, spending it for, for food on Rito and Atik. And, you know, at first I was like, oh, maybe, maybe there is a little bit more to him. But no, it was basically just so he could get in the house. So they would feel comfortable enough around him, turn their backs on him so he can you know, do black magic stuff. So, yeah. Which, you know, I 100% I respect a full-on, like, evil, you know, villain. You know, there's a lot... I, I don't mind the tendency to deconstruct villains today, at least in Western cinema. But, yeah, sometimes you just like a villain that you can hate. And, you know, they're not completely gone the High Evolutionary from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 it's pure, just evil, and we hate his guts. Now, we have the... Yeah, we see, you know, Willan's brother really deeply missing their their mom. And he, you know, he looks in the, in the flower pot to be a not-to-be. And, yeah, he decides to not tell Wulan because he overhears her saying, you know, she, she's worried about him. And, yeah, you know, it's... What he does is not the only other option, but you can understand why he doesn't just go to her and say, no, look, I, you know, she's been very skeptical of the entire black magic thing, and... You know, she, at this point, considers him paranoid. So him, you know, if, if he did show her the knot, you know, she might either, you know, maybe she would be like, are you, you know, maybe that wasn't really Harun or something, you know. So, yeah. And we see him get out a knife and, you know, stab it into the, the what's it called, Bed bedside table or whatever it's called, you know. So, yeah, that's very, very intense. I appreciate that later he is, he does start out just looking for evidence, though I'm not entirely sure that was always his plan when, when he went there. I think he might have cooled down over the, you know, because he wasn't able to attack Harun immediately. And that's, again, that's very psychologically credible. It It is the kind of thing that... You know, if if the if you're not immediately able to give in to your anger on something like that, if if you have a little bit of time where you're not doing it, yeah, you might you know no longer be because it's it's an emotional state. It's not this you know it's not a it's not a natural permanent state. You know, comparatively, if you're hungry, you're going to keep being hungry until you're able to eat something. 
But anger, that can dissipate if you're not constantly reminded of it and able to at least somewhat act on it. And yeah, so he finds the, the contract so he can go to Harun's home. Let's see, and yeah, and, and you know, Atik sees Rito cough more than even has has been happening recently. You know, he coughs up something, and she's like, what's that? And he's like, it's a centipede or a millipede. It's it's moving too fast. I can't count the legs. And let's see. Yeah, and you know, he calls the this this other guy from the past and the other guy already knows that something's going on. Never mind how. I think I have an idea of you know, he's he's clutching his stomach, and he's clearly in some distress, so, yeah. And, you know, he eventually agrees, okay, you can come back here, which I'm guessing we'll see in, you know, one of the next episodes, maybe the very next episode, will be Rito actually going there. And... Let's see. Yeah, uh, turns out Harood moved, and I don't just mean put one foot in front of the other. He moved homes, and <laughs> Wulan and Essa are very, very cute and sweet together. And it, you know, <laughs> I guess it's an international thing. This day, no, you you have to try this dessert. It's amazing. You know, that's yeah. Um, <laughs> all over the world, they're they're. Yeah, you'll encounter, you know, people who, who are like, you got to try this. I, I cannot eat this in front of you and not have you try at least some of it. And, you know, the it's, yeah, there's there's ice cream all over her lips. And he's like, you know, what, allow me and, and wipes it off. And just, yeah, you know, thick romantic tension. And they do end up kissing. And I really appreciate, you know... She comes very close to initiating. She she gets very close, and it's very clear that she wants them to kiss. And then she waits for him to to actually do the kiss. In, you know, there's this problematic notion in at least in Western cinema. I don't know about you know Indonesian, but this idea that it you know once someone wants to kiss someone else, they should just go ahead and do it. You know, they shouldn't try to get consent, not even nonverbal consent. So I really appreciate this sort of thing. You know, maybe James Cameron directed this scene. And let's see. Although he probably should not be directing scenes that involve Muslims. That still, True Lies is still the only James Cameron movie that I don't love in part because of the Islamophobia. Now, yeah, so, you know, Wulan's brother is struggling to, to find Harun and then, you know, overhear someone talk about, you know, oh, he owes me money. Really? He owes me money too? You know, and one of the mentions, I don't remember his name, but he lives in number seven. So, you know, Wulan's brother is right on that. You know, and he, he tries to dress it up. He, you know, he doesn't say, you know, I have a knife in my pocket. If, if you tell me where he is, like, he's a goner, you know. No, he's, he's like, you know, ah, my, my aunt needs, needs a gardener, uh, you know, and I've been trying to kill him. I mean, call him. I, I you know, I, I badly need for, for you know, a, a hole to be dug and for him to be put in it, I mean, plant something in it, you know, the, the, yeah, let's see, and yeah, he does get the, the new address, and yeah, he goes there, and Haroon's partner really badly wants them to, to have sex, 
And the scene, I, again, this is possibly just a general, like, Indonesian thing, but it's, you know, it's not really graphic. It's, it's very vocal, it's very audible, but it's not super graphic, and, you know, it does feel like they could probably have thought of something else. I, I Again, I don't know if Indonesia... If this was an American production, I'd be like, okay, that's there, because they're like, if we don't throw some sex at the screen pretty soon, you know, our audience is going to fall asleep. But, you know, they, they definitely... They obviously needed something to keep from, you know, Wulan's brother just going directly for Harun. Let's see. And, and it is perhaps, it's one of those things where, like, he's so vulnerable in that moment, and Wulan's brother knows nothing about this girl. For all he knows, you know, she is a saint. So he doesn't want to be stabbing Harun in front of her, you know. And... Yeah, uh, the the client of of Wulan's talks to her about the the black magic and explains, you know, she lost her father, but she and her mother survived. And yeah, I I appreciate this. You know, they are gradually getting more and more people, you know, revealing that more and more characters on the show have been attacked by black magic. And yeah, so Wulan, you know, she's been trying to give brother some some space, but you know, it's like he's he's grieving. She needs to check up on him. You know, yeah, knocks on the door, no answer. Opens the door. That is an unmade bed. That is a pretty clear sign that he, you know, this is not like, yeah, he he left. He left not like five minutes ago, and more than five minutes ago, I, I mean by that, and he left in a hurry. He was, you know, so, yeah. And, yeah, so she she calls him, and to his credit, he answers, you know, and, yeah, says, you know, I've been following Harun, and she's like, my God, are you serious right now, you know, bro. Bruh. But you know, yeah, he says, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove to you the that he is uh, you know who I say he is. And yeah. The and and I do really appreciate it. he does record some some proof. So, you know, by the end of this episode, he hasn't shown that to Wulan, but I'm guessing he will uh, yeah, very early in the next episode he will. She'll be 100% aboard the Screw Haroon train, choo-choo, and will, you know, yeah. It is about time for the skeptic in the paranormal horror story to accept, okay, there's something on. You know, we, we have three episodes left. And then we have the... Yeah, we have the, the like, the, the repairman, and we have a live wire, which we can tell because there are some slightly unconvincing CG sparks, which, again, it's one of those things, like, I appreciate, you know, I'm pretty sure you can, like, fake sparks in a, in a safe way in, with, like, practical effects, but, you know, they're, they're on location, it's, I can imagine it's it's quite the hassle, and I've yeah in in recent videos talking about the show I've been talking about how much I appreciate that there there's more variety now to the the black magic attacks, and yeah seeing Rito they do such a great job on the makeup because like you just see right around like it's it's as if there's an invisible fiber wire or something, you know, very nicely done, and his acting helps really sell it. You know, the, it's, it's fairly simple, just, yeah, the, the acting, camera work, and makeup, because, you know, yeah, if you, if you take a step back and think of it as just, oh, it's, it's a production, it's a, it's an episode of, of a show, 
yeah, you know, that he was in makeup for a while, and they, they drew the, the red line, and then they reddened his throat. And, and yeah, from, from there, you know, and they it's that thing of, you know, Haroon is sitting there with, like, a, a small representation of Rito and, and, like, tightening something around that. Was it, like, a little chain or some, something like that, you know, and that has that effect on him. But, but yeah, very, very tense, and I, right, I also really appreciate the element, something, you know, we haven't seen this before on, on the show, Harun is, um, yeah, the black magic is stopped partway through, because Wulan's brother is able to prevent, you know, which I, I will say, I thought that Rito was going to die, and I was like, how are they going to get to the other guy who knows about the black magic then? Because it doesn't seem like a Teak knew, although I guess the cab driver might. But, you know, since he... No, wait, no, yeah, he probably... He's going to tell the cab driver the address once he gets into the cab, you know. But, yeah, Rito does survive the episode. And, yeah, um, like the horror on the show, the fight between Harun and Ulan's brother, very, very, like, visceral. Like, the this detail of, you know, there's several, like, stab wounds, and, you know, one point, you know, Harun is trying to, like, stab right in the eye, because someone on this show either hates the human eyeball, or loves messing with those of us who hate to see the human eyeball, like, stabbed through, you know, it's it's been a minute since they last did that, you know, but, yeah, some very intense stuff there, which I also appreciate, you know, we know that this is not a show that's going to shy away from doing that, you know, and, yeah, um, in order to get out of it, Lance's brother puts a finger inside the stab wound he caused and is, like, you know, digging around in there, like, he thinks there's lost treasure, which, of course, you know, the, the intense pain gets a room to, to, you know, yeah, back off for a second. But he does manage to stab the, the leg, which, again, just looks really, really painful. And let's see. Yeah, and we see, you know, in the flashback, now that Harun's father is dead, you know, he, he overhears people thinking, you know, I mean, could it really be that he's just, you know, teaching the Quran? Maybe he isn't a black magic. And this, of course, infuriates Harun. He just lost his father, and now they're disparaging him. You know, and he feels confident that his father was not into black magic. And it actually becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, they were confident that Harun's father was into black magic, and now Harun embraces black magic to get revenge. And this, again, that's a thing that happens. That's a thing that's happened throughout history. You know, because, yeah, it's like, well, if you think that about my family, you know, the the a, a lot of cases, there's sadly not much you can do to get across to people that it's not true. You know, so... Yeah, let's see, and and I do really appreciate, you know, it it didn't start out with evil, the, the evil on the show didn't, seemingly, according to this episode at least, didn't start out with evil intentions, it started out, the uh, yes, it started out as revenge for an evil act that was done not from black magic, but in response to, to the accusation, to, yeah, to perceived black magic, you know, and it, it's possible that one of the last three episodes will prove that maybe Harun's father was killed, you know, maybe there was some, some black magic, but yeah, you know, he, he curses God, you know, the, the, yeah, vows revenge, refuses to, to seek forgiveness, and yeah, just very, very, I, I appreciate that we now know, you know, Harun wasn't, like, born evil or something. He seemed to legitimately embrace good 
up until this point. But yeah, this one-two punch of losing his father and in such a gruesome way, like they cut his head off, which I also appreciate. You know, I, I would have been surprised, you know, as they were building up to the reveal, I was like, there's no way they're not going to show, you know, but yeah. And, and great um, practical effects there it looked incredibly convincing. I mean, they, holy crap, they must have built that entire, like, fake body for, for just a few seconds of screen time. Fantastic. Just, yeah. Um, and, yeah. The one-two punch of losing his father and then his father being accused of black magic. Like, it's, even after he's dead, they can't, they, they're not like, okay, you know what, this is more, this, I'm not, I'm not okay with this. This is not, you know, because, like, you'd hope that that would be the reaction. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I heard he was into black magic, but this is not okay. But no, they're, instead, they're like, I don't know, I mean, he might have been into black magic. That's probably why this happened, you know, which also, it is very human to, to try to find an answer, to, to, to determine a reason for, for something bad to happen. But that's really not what you want to hear right after losing someone so close to you. So, yeah. Um, really appreciate the, the couple of little hints we got here of what's, you know, yeah, what is, is going on. Left for the, the show to, to cover in the last three episodes, we still don't know exactly who the... You know, clearly there was someone else behind Black Magic that isn't um, Haroon. And, let's see... Yeah, the... I think that is about it. So yeah, um, let's see, next episode I expect to cover in eight. Oh, hold on. No, wait, that's right. Yeah, I'm taking a break off next week. But yeah, so in, in two weeks I will cover the next episode. And yes, um, and, and next week it's because I'm reviewing a horror movie and I don't currently feel the need to do more than one horror thing per week yes um, so really looking forward to watching next episode and until then bye